What is going on, my friends? Welcome to a little uh, springtime fishing here out on the boat with me, Ancient. Today, we are excited because it is a little warmer than the last few times we've been out here and we launched the boat just a few minutes ago and there was bait spraying all back here. And so it seems like the fish are going to be active today. We have a variety of late spring summertime baits tied on, including a snake. We got a frog, frogs and snakes. We're going amphibian. We've got a uh, chartreuse crankbait. Got a little craw action. But I'm actually going to start out with something small here. A little whirly bee, Tennessee shad color. Because this is just a nice little universal bait. We've got some geese that are upset about something. Of course, now I don't see those bait no more. No, what about I you? I haven't seen it at all. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> we launch and it's like they're gone. All right, my friends, we're in the back of a cove here, and there's like a tree line you can see right there. So I've got a little lizard on. I'm going to try fishing for some bedding fish. The ancient's throwing a, a chatter bait. So he's throwing something, throwing something fast. I'm throwing something slow on the back here. There we go. Oh, oh I got, look at that. Oh, yeah, yeah, look at the swirl. Oh, yeah. He got, he got smoked. Oh, got him nice. right in the that shallow stuff. Shallow. Oh, yeah, cool. on a lizard. I haven't caught a lizard fish in a long time. Well, that tells us a little something. He was, they're definitely oh, spawning yeah. two bites. Yeah. Oh, look, that's a skinny one. That's either a male or a spawned out female. It's called a cock candy lizard. If that's, if you can believe it. <laughs> oh, that's skinny. You know, Pops, you scared a fish on that cast, and I for, I thought that was probably just a carp, but it may have been a bass. There might even be a big female up there if this isn't the female. By the way, guys, check out the Ace Videos wristbands. Link in the description. Level up in real life on that side, and then the Ace logo on that side, and they are embossed and painted. They're the best ones that you can get. Using a cotton candy colored lizard. The reason why I went for this one as opposed to like a green pumpkin or something like that, which is kind of normally my go-to, is, uh, I mean, look how, got kind of a chartreuse tail and a purple body. So I figured it should stand out better in this real dark, dirty water back here. The main lake isn't dirty at all, but, well, it's stained, I guess. But back here, it is brown. I don't know if that, that might have just been a stick. I had to set the hook. All right, don't ask me why, guys, but I guess because I'm a fisherman. Just caught one on the lizard, but now I'm switching to this little crappie jig here. It has a little bit of purple in it too, like a purple tail. I actually got it as a sample pack. Got it for free. So I'm gonna try this. I feel like with You're not gonna catch anything on that. Yeah, I feel like with a crappie jig though, if there's a catfish or something wandering around back here, they like the crappie jig, or if they're actual crappie or big bluegill or something. That chatterbait does look supreme, I have to say. Uh-huh. Yeah, it, there's so much ruckus and vibration it gives off. Fish on, nice. Right by that, by that post, I drug it right in front of the post. You're using chatterbait? Yes, sir. Sweet. Oh, yeah. All right. It's a pretty one. Mm-hmm. Come here, baby. There we go. Nice. I just got the that chatterbait. Fish. Nice. Check out the old chatterbait. I like that color. Yeah, too. I got. I, like, I just put that trailer on. Got a I brand new trailer it. for them. Get That's a little great. boot nice. down there. Sweet. Nice job, pups. Two. Each have the skunk out of the boat. Yes, sir. I got one. Nice. On that little tiny swim bait that you said I wasn't going to catch anything oh, on. <laughs> I don't even know what this is. Oh, it's so. I don't. Still don't know what it is. It's just a bass, just a beautiful bass. Had that has like a sheen to it. Look at it. It's like it's cool. Like it has this iridescent color. Nice. Look at that. Look at the. Why is that bass so shiny? That's why I thought it was like. Is this a trout or something? On that little ugly swim bait that I got in a sample pack. Yeah, it's just like just a beautiful color to it. Nice. Oh yeah. Oh, it has a rough spot on his tongue. I thought that sort of looks like a spotted bass. 
Yeah, he is a spotted bass. You know what, guys, there's no uh, size regulations on these. Just in case we don't like catch anything else, I'm actually gonna put him in the live well. There we go. There we go, my friends. One in the box. And all it took was this ugly little free swim bait to get him. The one you're not gonna catch <laughs> It is ugly, but that's kind of what endeared me to it. It was so ugly for this dirty water, it looked like it was going to catch something. It would stand out down there. Got him. Right against the shore. Oh, he threw it. He got off. He got off. Went straight for the surface. I have a jig head on. Oh, man, he was right. Got him. Uh-huh. Well, pardon me. I got a good one. You do. I got a good fish, guys, on a crappie jig. That's why I'm using a crappie jig, folks. Now, this is a light setup, so the peel and drag you know, doesn't mean it's a, an eight-pounder or something. I don't know why I said eight-pounder. It's not like I've even gotten close to an eight-pounder. But, like, a four-pounder. But you never know. I'll get the net. Yes, please. Yes, yes, what is this? Oh, it's a big drum. Oh it's a big old drum. Yes. Sweet. Thank you, Pops, for netting them. Yes. drum. Yes, that's right. Wow. These are tasty. I can't believe that tiny little bait's getting. That is all I'm using right there, folks. And it's the only one I have. That's why I like using crappie jigs, because you just catch a variety. Alright, you can join the spotted bass. They can be pals. Everyone needs a friend, you know, just a happy little friend. just looks like carp to me but who knows oh there are other fish there though I think we need to fish this thoroughly yeah. you have a huge carp oh my gosh you know, it's, it's a big, black carp it's like a black buffalo or it's a weird looking carp it's like he doesn't even know he's hooked let's see if we can scoop before he becomes fully aware of what's going on He's not fighting too much. Yeah, he's not fighting too much, I think, because he doesn't realize what's happening. He's getting close. He's getting close. Before he absolutely makes a run, because he is massive. I can't see him. Okay, he's getting on the scoop and real jump. That was great. <laughs> now he knows. Now he knows he's hooked. Oh, I nice got him. Job. I got him. Oh, that is a heavy. What, what is kind of carp is this? He's black. Or is it just do they get this way during spawning season? Oh that might be the family best carp that right is there. That's a big carp. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. Well, that is some kind of fish here. Wow, Pops, I think that is the family best. I don't ever remember catching don't know. a carp that big. Uh-huh, we've caught some nice, you know, like five to ten pounders, and I think that is way bigger than five to ten pounders. Wow, should we see? Just, can we see how long he is, or just let him go? Yeah. Okay. Quick release, then we'll go back to his buddy, or her buddy. <laughs> that was the most docile fish in the world. I don't wow. think that has ever happened where, like, a fish is just like, Hold me. Like, that was crazy. Like it did not flop at all. It had a couple little kicks and that was it. Wow. Oh, there's a car. <laughs> oh, there's like four of them all swimming together. Okay, here's some more right over there. Oh yeah, just all the way. And look, another like carp with him or something, another big black fish. 
That's that is crazy. crazy. I've never seen. Oh, look, tons of them right there. What are you talking about? This is wild. I've never seen anything like this. I keep looking for other species, but all right. I see are just tons of gar. And they're not eating anything, or at least nothing's eating my bait yet. Look at them guys just all along here. That's cool. Oh. <laughs> huh. they look at all of them. They just come over the logs. Well, if you ever wanted to eat some gar. Yeah, this would be the place This to would come. be the place to come. Wow. Well, that was cool. Should we go on to our other spot? I think we should. Uh-huh. Oh, we gotta shut it off. All right, my friends. This is a long, deep cove. If you're members, you've already seen this place. We discovered this accidentally. Well, not really accidentally, because we were exploring. But this cove goes way back, and it's cool what's in the back. All right, guys, it is time to cook. Um, one of the reasons why we have a stone in here, so we can easily kill the fish. In fact, we have everything we need in here for cooking right on the boat. Ooh, big old boil right here. Oh, I got a fish. Oh. All right, guys, my dad. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you got a crappie. No way. That was on one of those toughies. There you go. It's not a keeper. Not a keeper, think, but... but uh... First crappie. I was getting set up for uh, for filleting the fish. If you catch a keeper while I'm filleting it, you can just stick him right on the cutting board. Yes, sir. I'll and, do it. <laughs> I'll cut him up. Would that be 10 inches? Yes, sir. Okay. And I'm going to fillet up our catch here. And if you catch something, just swing it on over, slap it right on the cutting board, and I'll get to work. I will do it. Did you know that while I have cheeks to eat good cheek meat, uh, my, my comment section lit up with everybody talking about the cheek meat on walleye and how we missed it. So, we'll know for next time. Yeah, I'm going to take all these guts and stuff and throw it out there. Maybe that'll attract something around the bobber, you know. Was that a fish that jumped right there? Oh, that's crazy. Alright, Pops, I've got the carcass. Hopefully this will uh, get the attractant. All those juices going in the water <laughs> yeah bring a catfish from the from the main river or if he's if he's cruising around here it'll bring him right around this guy looks like a largemouth in a way but he's got a big rough patch on his tongue so i guess even if he was a largemouth he's way long enough to keep so we're good no matter how you slice it <laughs> get it <laughs> pun intended Right, if I do say so myself, that is an amazing boneless fillet right there. This bass had nothing in its stomach. Look at that beautiful fillet, boneless. The cutting board goes back. I've had that for a long time. Clean off my knife good. All right, time to get the cook set up. Rolling, ah, oh, perfect. And it's R2. Ooh, he's saucy. Saucy this evening. Yeah, settle down, bro. Maybe he's, maybe he got overheated. All right, guys, the Ace Videos backpack, link in the description below, comes in four colors. It holds a lot. I have red beans and rice, blackened seasoning, corn, salt, of course, we always need salt, and mixed greens. I'm kind of going for a little southern style platter this time. Last time we did a Chick-fil-A themed. If you guys watched that episode, that was super fun. That's all it takes, wow. All right, oops, probably should have done this first. Pops, do you have a, well, a can opener? for a can. Uh, not really. You can learn how I do. Okay. Alright, so I got my dad's dog tags from back in the day and they always gave the guys a John Wayne. How hard can it be? That's what I always say. Oh, it's going to be a little slow though. For me anyway. You could do it real fast. 
Ah, thank you. Yeah, we just won't show this part where you open all the cans so that we're not here till right. dark. No, yeah, <laughs> we'll take the red beans and rice and just pour them straight in there. That's why I got canned food. Keep it nice and simple, as simple as you can out on the boat. I mean, here I am cooking on a boat, but as far as I'm not making like red beans and rice from scratch. Mmm, they smell good. I don't know about you, Pops, but I am very, very hungry. I am, yes. What is it about being out in the sun and fishing just makes you ravenous? Ah, oh, thank you. Yeah, that would have taken me about 12 minutes to do. All right, beans and greens going in, at least partial can. I think, I think that should be good enough right there. Got some of these plastic cups for this because a lot of this stuff is kind of watery. So I'm not going to lay it all right on the platter. I'm actually going to put them in these. Serving up. Red beans and rice coming in hot. That so it does smell good. It's a little dangerous cooking on the edge of the boat, folks. Put that right there. Cream corn. All this is just heat up. Yeah, a little shake of salt. Will won't hurt anybody. Alright, order up. Give me a garden and hold the tomatoes or whatever. That diner talk. You know diner talk, don't you? You worked no, in the I worked in the cafeteria. Oh, cafeteria. Oh, cafeteria. No, that, was, that was upscale, first class. No, that was <laughs> Fish on. Fish on? What is it? Um, another crappie. He's another quite crappie? Big enough, but he got on that little toughy minnow. Oh. A little bigger, though. Uh huh. Oh, guys, look at that. Mmm. We're getting there. Yeah, we're getting there. <laughs> nice catch, though. <laughs> All right. My stomach just growled. <laughs> All right, my friends, the three sides of the platter are done. I'm actually going to leave the cream corn in there. That'll add a nice flavor. And now I'm going to grab butter, the world's greatest vegetable. All right, my friends. Time for the final... Part of the show here. The fillets of spotted bass. We're going to do black and seas. It's been a long time since I've used this. And this used to be a um, staple of my channel. The Cajun Louisiana Kitchen. When I was trying to think of a southern recipe. I thought you know what. I love the black and Cajun stuff. And I haven't used this in such a long time. It is delish. It is smelling good. You know, I was just thinking about the smell, actually. I was like, you know, technically a bear could just appear right there and, like, <laughs> smell our food. We're just anchored right along the shore. Well, we'd be diving into the water. Actually, I'd probably, I'd probably throw it up on land. <laughs> it depends how aggressive he was acting. If he was acting like he wanted, I would just toss it all up on land, pan and all. All right, my friends. Oh, look at the blackened job there. That is exactly, that is exactly what I was hoping for. There's a, really a snake over there? Oh yeah. You, he smells the food. He's coming right over here for it. If he does, we should nab him. You know I have that snake grabber? Uh-huh, I think it's under the seat. I bought one in case we wanted to catch a water moccasin. Or a, um, or a copperhead. Oh, look at this platter, guys. Look at this platter. Fish, beans, and rice, and corn, and greens. Guys, do you see the snake right there? Look at him. What kind is he's coming right toward us? He smells the food. He does. If he comes this pops underneath that sea or like is like a fish grabber. Or not a fish grabber, a snake grabber. This lovely southern inspired platter brought him in. Look at that. Where is he? Did he take off? Oh man, he was just in time for dinner. Oh look there oh his head just popped. Oh shoot. Hey, come back. For dinner. Make him into dinner. Pops. Oh my. <laughs> if you would help me hold up <laughs> this oh, huge you know fish it. platter. Let's see. Uh, yeah, probably Let's turn go. it around. Sweet. Oh All right. <laughs> I don't know. I'm hungry. <laughs> me too. Right. Would you like to pray for us? Sure. Lord God in heaven, thank you for a great day out in the water with Asa today. I just ask that you would bless this food to our bodies now and uh, just thank you for the day we had together. We could enjoy. In Christ's name, amen. Amen. All right, so on this side is the drum. On that side is a spotted bass. 
You want me to wait for you, or do we just dig in? We just dig in. <laughs> Man, I'm going to have some bass first. No, I'm going to have some bass, too. I'm actually most curious, because we had drum a few weeks ago. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Cheers. This might be the first time I've eaten spotted bass, actually. I can't remember the last time I, if I ever ate one. Wow. Mm. Um, that's, that's good. good. That, that seasoning you have on it is fantastic. That, one, that is really good. Yeah. Like, dang, that's <laughs> good. Maybe because we're hungry. But Wow, that was unexpectedly. It good, it, it's, I would say out of largemouth and smallmouth and spotted bass, uh, that spotted, spotted it reigns supreme. Mm. Very interesting that the spotted bass is that delicious. Mm. You know, let's try the drum real quick. Maybe I'm... I'll hold it. Wow. I mean, seriously, look at that. Goodness gracious. It's like a piece of pork. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow. A good blackened piece. Mm. That was crazy how how firm that meat is. Mm-hmm. That I think out of all the fish I've ever eaten in my life, drum might be the like steakiest one. Mm-hmm. Ever. Yeah, it, it's you actually than... have to cut it with a knife. Yeah. But the flavor is great. Must be because oh. we're just starving, or but this meal is epic. I mean, absolutely epic. I love the greens and the corn. That's mm -hmm. a fun. But this spotted bass, that gummit. And even the rice and beans. Mm-hmm. Are good too. Spotted bass for the win, guys. I've I've been just catching and releasing spotted bass since we moved here. I think we're gonna have to keep more of those from now on because those are phenomenal. So wow. unless something happens with these bobbers, in the last minute here. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. Hope you guys enjoyed. Check out my channel, my dad's channel down in the description. Please do. We'll see you in the next one.